Look at this. Isn't it so cute? Oh, don't get me wrong. The guinea pigs are adorable. But don't these cuddle beds look comfy? I was looking for DIY cuddle bed ideas for guinea pigs when I came across these pictures of rabbits in this bed. It looks more like a hot dog to me though. So today I'm going to try recreating this with just these photos using some old clothes from years ago because I'm not going to waste my money on a craft project that I'm not sure it will be successful. Plus, it's upcycling, right? Welcome or welcome back to the IC Cinema channel where I make videos of everything getting hit related. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm using two old shirts for this one. First, I cut off the edges of the shirt so it will be rectangular, which will be easy to shape later. And if you've noticed, this background is one of the backdrops I talked about in my last video, the guinea pig spot. Right now, I don't have the exact measurements, but if I do write the written instructions in my vlog, you'll see it in the description. Once I cut the fabric, I grabbed my mini sewing machine because I plan to use it for this project. And it did work for a while, but then there were some problems with it. So I abandoned it and planned to hand sew it instead. Now, experts, don't come for me, please, because I haven't sewed in a long time. But personally, I feel that hand sewing these basic projects makes you feel more relaxed. So I sewed the two pieces of fabric together, flipped it inside out, and used these special types of glue made for fabric to glue the overlapping sides together. This is what it looks like right now. I used my pen to create two lines across the back shaped cuddle bed, dividing it into three sections. The center of the section is narrower than the sides to make it resemble the reference picture. After that, I gathered all the scrap fabric and cut it into small pieces, then stuffed it into one of the pockets. But I didn't have enough, so I ended up printing some clean paper like magazines and filled the rest of the pockets with it. Now future me knows that I didn't add enough because Mochi and Coffee's body squished down the cuddle bed. But well. I had to leave a little bit of extra space for the overlap this time around, but I think it will make the sewing process a lot smoother. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Ta-da! It's not horrible, but I can already see a ton of places that can be improved. But let's see if the guinea pigs like it. Mochi, coffee! Once I sprinkled some lettuce in, Moshi and Kami immediately felt so much more comfortable climbing onto the cuddle bed. So that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to this channel. I also made some other crafts for the piggies, so check out this DIY no suits knuckle mat tutorial for guinea pigs and rabbits. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!